Hey, section course two, lesson 14, is problems about parts of a whole and simple probability. So here, one third of a students attend a game. What fractions of students do not attend a game? So I can show this by drawing a picture. Okay. And I'm dividing up my circle into thirds. So one third of the, of the student attend the game. So I'm gonna shade in one third of my circle. So if one third attended the game, that means I have one two-thirds that did not. So two-thirds did not attend the game. If we did that with math, we would say that we have part of something plus another part equals my whole. So here I had one-third plus something equals my whole number, which would have been three-thirds, okay? and it's two-thirds. This one, Melissa's science beaker is 61% full. What percent of Melissa's beaker is empty? So if I were to draw it, I'd draw my picture and it's just a little bit um, over half full. So this is how much was full and of course this is the empty part. So I know that for a percent, my whole is 100%. So I'm going to subtract the, part, the full part, which is 61%, and my answer is 39% of the beaker is empty. Okay. The second part's on probability. And probability is figuring out what is the likelihood a particular event will occur. So here I have a dice. And it has dots one through six on it. And I want to know what the probability is of first, A, rolling a four. So the probability of rolling a four, okay, how many fours are on a dice? Well, there's only one. So we write probabilities as fractions. The top is, the top number is how many outcomes there are. So this is your outcomes or the number. Okay. And the bottom is your total amount. Okay, So for this one, how many fours are there on a dice? There's only one four on the dice. And then how many numbers are there total? There are six numbers. Six numbers including the four. It has to include all the numbers. So the probability of rolling a four is one-sixth. So rolling a number greater than four, for B, how many numbers are greater than four? Well, it's two and five. So there are two, or sorry, there are, it's five and six. So there are two numbers greater than four out of a total of six numbers possible. So that is equal to, so we reduce that to one third. Okay. On C, what is the probability of rolling a number greater than six? Well, there are no numbers greater than six. So the probability of rolling a seven or eight is zero. You can't do it. And then for D, rolling a number less than 7, well, all of the numbers on a dice are less than 7. So you're going to be rolling one. So that's 6 out of 6 numbers that are less than 7, which is equal to 1. So the probability of rolling a number less than 7 is 1. Okay. On this one, we have a spinner. It's divided into 5 equal sectors and numbered 1 through 5. And the arrow is spun once. So A how many different outcomes are possible? So the different outcomes I have is I have five equally likely outcomes because it could land on any of those numbers. On B, what's the probability of spinning a three? Well, there's only one three on the spinner. So I know my numerator will be a one. And then there are five numbers total, so the denominator is going to be a five. So the probability of spinning a three is one-fifth. Now C is asking, what is the probability of not spinning a three, or the opposite? So again, there's only one three. That means that there are four numbers that are not three. So that's going to be four out of the five numbers total. Now if you notice, one-fifth plus four-fifths is equal to five-fifths, or one. Okay. 
That's important because I will be spinning a number. I will either be spinning three or I will not be spinning three. There's no other options. So it has to equal one. Okay, and this last one, a spinner on the right is divided into one half and two fourths. What's the probability of the spinner stopping on three? So we have three different outcomes that can happen. It can land on a one, it can land on the two, or it can land on the three. To figure out the probability of landing out on three, I need to divide this circle up so all of the pieces are equal. Okay, so I'm going to make it so that it's in, it's in force and there are two sections with one in it. So the probability of drawing a three is there's only one three, so it's going to be one out of four pieces. Okay. If I asked what the probability of drawing a, um, of spinning a one would be, then it would be two out of the four pieces or one half. Okay. So that's the same as up here. We already know it's divided into one half. So I know it has to land on one half the time. Okay. And that's it for this lesson.